What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we're here tonight with the review for Sisters. Season 3, episode 8. The episode was titled Little White Lies. <sighs> Little White Lies. Should have been should have kept that little white line. But you guys, without further ado, actually before we get into the review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and did not yet subscribe to the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all the buttons, light them all up, share the video, you guys. <clears throat> if you guys know people who watch these shows, send them to me to, you know, watch the reviews. And also, you guys, stop taking me out on this date and not, if, you, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, stop taking me out on the date and not paying for it. It's very rude. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Sisters, shall we? All right, you guys, so Sisters, so you guys, we pick up where the last one left off. Now, the last one, you guys remember that um, Atima went over to Andy's house to get the dress and the heels for her, right? So as Fatima was getting ready to leave, you guys, remember, she heard moans coming from Andy's bedroom, right? So she goes and calls Andy. Andy asks her, so did you get the dress? She's like, yes. She's like, how does it look? She says, it looks good. She said, did you get the heels? She says, yes, I got the heels. So then, you know, she tells her, you know, since you're there, why don't you get a necklace as well? So then, you know, and Danny, you know, not Danny, Fatima is talking to Andy, right? So Fatima actually kept repeating this more than once. She's like, I think you should come home and try to and put the dress on. She was like, but I, that's why I asked you to go home. She says, I think you should come home. Now, Andy is not the brightest bulb in the box, right? But if someone else keeps saying to me more than once, I think you should come home, I'm be like, why? I think you should come home. Okay. Is something, is, is, and then I would be like, okay, is something going on in my apartment that I need to know about? And then you know, I'd be like, okay, you know what? Let me go home and see what she's talking about, right? So she asked her, is Gary there? She says, yes. She says, is Gary, okay. <laughs> you might want to come home and, you know, find out for yourself, right? But like I said, she just kept having that back and forth with Fatima's like, girl, she's telling you, come home. Obviously, something's going on at your house that you need to see. Andy didn't catch the Andy didn't catch that, but it's Andy we're talking about, right? So then let's move over to Sabrina. Sabrina. So Sabrina is at the restaurant. She's waiting for you know the girls to show up. So when she gets there, she gets a call from Danny. So Danny is asking her, you know, like. Where are you? She says, I'm at the bar. She's like, you know, you're already there early? She says, yes. I just came from the gay bar with Maurice. And, you know, Danny's like, oh, God. You know, that gay bar, it's a waste of men that don't, they're not looking at you. Well, that's what it's called. That's why it's called a gay bar. The men are gay. But okay. So then, you know, um, Sabrina tells her what's going on with her, between she and Jacoby and the fact that Jacoby is wanting to put a sexual harassment claim against her. And she says, well, did you do it? And she's like, Danny. She's like, what? You said y'all fucked. So I just didn't know if you guys had, you know, if you guys actually did it or not. But she says, no, I did not do it. He came on to me. So then some guy comes into the restaurant and, you know, Sabrina's like, I'll take a, I'll take a, um, a, mar a martini or a, she said martini or, or a, um, margarita. She said a margarita. But the guy's like, um, he said her name, Sabrina. I'm like, who the hell is this guy? So she's like, do I know you? He's like, because he was, because he, he told her he's, he doesn't work there. She said, do I know you? He said, El Fuego. Okay, who is El Fuego? I really hope that is not his name, El Fuego. <laughs> El Fuego? That's got to be a nickname. So then he says, El Fuego, whatever his last name is. And she's like, oh, from college, I remember you. She says, whoa, you look a lot different. He's like, yeah, I lost weight and the acne is gone, right? So, you know, he asked her, you know, she asked him about his ex-girlfriend. His ex-girlfriend left him for another guy, but they're happy, I guess. So then he asked her about Karen, about Andy, about Danny. Well, not so much Danny because he says he owes, he's like, she's like, well, they're all coming. He says, including Danny. She says, yes. He says, well, you know what? Let me get out of here because I believe I owe Danny $5. Do you think she's going to remember? It's Danny you're talking about. So then they exchange numbers, right? 
So he says, well, you know, she said, so what are you getting ready to do? He says, I'm getting ready to go to me and my boy, you know, I'm, I'm going back over with my boys. He's like, okay. She's like, okay, what do you got, what do you guys got planned? He says, we're going to a bachelorette party. She says, interesting. And then he said, you know, she says, so, I don't forget how it came up, but he says he's an entertainment. Now, when he said he's an entertainment, I'm like, Sabrina, you didn't catch that whole interaction. He just said he's the entertainer. That means he's the what? The stripper. <laughs> But it just went over Sabrina's head. I'm like, okay, Sabrina, that just really went over your head that he's a stripper. I mean, it literally went over her head that the man is a stripper. And I didn't get that. But let's move on. All right, you guys. So Andy. Andy Hightailed at home, right? So she opens up the door. You know, she, she goes, actually, she's asking Fatima, like, what's going on? She's like, you might go check your room. So she goes to the door and she hears the moans, right? So she opens the door. There is Gary with his phone like this. She was like, who are you talking to? Like, who's in here with you? He says, I'm talking to Angela, my therapist. And I was like, oh my God, I knew it was going to be something. I knew it wasn't going to be, so I knew that nobody was going to be in that, in that bath, in that room, in that, in that room with Gary. So he says that he and his therapist are doing exercises. I was like, what kind of exercise involves her on the phone moaning? I was thoroughly confused. The woman was moaning. Now, I thought maybe he was in a bathroom watching porn, you know, going to town on his on his Johnson. But you and your therapist are in the bathroom because of the confined spaces, which we'll talk about that in just a little bit. You guys are in the bathroom and she's moaning? Why? Please make that shit make sense because it does not make sense. So then Andy goes out and she's talking to Fatima. So Fatima's like, what was it? She says, well, there's no one in there. It's his therapist. Child, I'm glad Fatima was as confused as I was. I was like, okay, Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Like the more, um, the Calvin thing, I was cool. The Calvin situation, it, it it didn't make any sense, but the way you wrote it, I was like, okay, I'll guess I'll give you that one with the Bootsy and um and the other and the Q guy in that in um you know Calvin's room. I was gonna I gave him that one, but this one literally makes no sense. So he and his therapist are in the bathroom doing exercises, and she's moaning on the phone. Why? What is the significance of the moans? I, I just I just want someone to explain his shit to me, right? So then let's move over to um, Danny and Sabrina. So Danny shows up to where Sabrina, you know, shows up to the restaurant, right? She looks like Little Bo Peep. She looks like that dress came from, you know, a plantation. You know, she looks like she's getting ready to go to a plantation party. <laughs> that dress is hideous. So Sabrina's like, oh my God, Danny. You look really good. I'm like, you lying to her. She's like, but what are you all dressed up for? She's like, you know, and she's like, I can't get dressed up. She's like, well, we, you know, we usually only see you in your uniform. I'm glad somebody finally said that we only time we see Danny, she's always in that damn uniform. But everybody else gets to change clothes. But Danny always has to wear that, that uniform. So once again, Sabrina's asking her why she dressed up. She says, oh, my God, is it Preston? She says, no. She says, well, that's your thirst trap um, dress. But you look good. And I'm just like, well, damn, she can't get dressed up for dinner? Like, she has to come to dinner in that 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 uniform, which if she came straight to the, if she did that, I'm, that would let you know she didn't go home and wash her ass. So I'm glad she washed her ass. So then, you know, she's telling Danny about El Fuego, but Danny already knows that he's a stripper and that was a club that she frequented. So then Karen comes in and Karen was Karen does the same thing. You know, Dan, Danny, why are you dressed up like that? Once again, it's a thirst trap. Just it's like, damn, so y'all just want her to be the frumpy friend? Like that's what y'all giving me. Y'all want her to just be the frumpy, you know, the the frumpy friend. That's all I'm getting from y'all. It's the frumpy friend that So then they ask her if she talks to Andy. If she's you know, that Danny asks Karen, has she talked to Andy? She says no, she has not talked to Andy. And she asked him, has anything interesting happened to y'all today? They said, what are you talking about? Well, I'll just wait for Andy to get here. 
Karen, what the hell are you talking about? I'll just wait for Andy. Okay, so we'll wait for Andy at this point. Whatever. Let's move on. Speaking of Andy. So, Andy. Ugh. So Andy asked Gary, how did your session go? He says it was very stressful. So then he asked her, why did you barge into the bathroom like that when you came home? Because you were on the phone and I could hear moans coming from the bathroom. That's why I barged in there and I asked you who the hell you're on the phone with. Gary, stop playing stupid. So she says to him, he says to her that, you know, his therapist wanted him to get in a confined space and do the exercise. Girl, what sense does that make? You're in a confined space. She's on speakerphone. She's somebody's moaning. Pretty sure it's her. What the fuck was the exercise? What the fuck was the exercise? Like, I really want to know that. What was the damn exercise? Because it still does not make a lick of sense to me. But I mean, hey, if it makes sense to y'all, please let me know, right? So Andy asks, is it helping? He says he thinks so. She says, so what about sex? Girl, girl Gary is not going to stop thinking about you with Paris. I don't give a damn what that therapist does. So then, you know, he says, so he notices that she's dressed up. He says, where are you going? She says, I'm going out with the girls. He says, dressed like that. Andy, Andy, Andy. See, you see the red flags, but then you just turn around and just paint them orange and purple and blue because Gary gives you all the red flags. One, he's asking you, where are you going? Two, he's asking you, why are you dressed the way that you're dressed? And three, he asks you, what time are you coming home? First of all, you're a grown ass woman. Second of all, you're not married to him. And thirdly, that is your apartment. You come and go as you please. Now, if his name, if he pays the rent there, he still does not have a say so. My girl, you don't answer to him. And she answered the question. She says, I'll be back by 11 p.m. He says, 11 p.m.? That's pretty late. Gary, go to hell. Like, do you not see, Andy, do you not see the jealousy, the insecurities? Like, it's right there in your face. But you just overlooking it. So, okay. So then Andy calls Fatima, right? And she's talking about Rob. I think... Now see, in this episode, it sounded like they were saying his name was Robin, but I could have sworn last week's episode they said his name was Robert. So I don't know what his name is, so his name is Rob for me. So she told him where she was going, so she called Fatima to call Rob to change the meeting place of where they're going to be meeting at. So it's going to be the same restaurant that she's meeting the girls at. That is so fucking stupid. And then you told Gary that you're going, you're going to, you told Gary where you're actually meeting the guy at? Girl, why don't you just lie? Why do you say, oh, I'm going to, um, um, Red Lobster? I don't know. Say I'm going to Red Lobster, but then you end up at TJF Fridays. I don't know. Lie to him. You know how Gary is. Gary is going to show up at that restaurant. Mark my words. Mark my words. Gary is going to show up at that damn restaurant, you idiot. Girl, stupid as hell. So once she hangs up the phone with Fatima, Fatima calls Rob and changes the um, meeting place. Just dumb. I ain't never saw somebody so dumb in my life. You got all the book smarts in the world, but you, you lack common sense. I'm moving on from Andy because she is not going to work my nerves tonight. Whoops. I spoke too soon, right? So Andy, she finally joins the girls, right? So Sabrina, you know, they like tell, you know, they were talking about Andy. She's like, what do y'all guys need to tell me? So then Sabrina half ass tells her what's going on between she and Jacoby and Danny flat out says it. You know, he's saying that, um, you know, she sexually harassed him. So Andy says, well, you know, I'll handle it. <laughs> and if I can't handle it, I'll find someone in the office that can handle it. So then Danny's talking to Karen like, Karen, don't you have something to say to Andy? She's like, don't you have something to say to Andy? So then, you know, Karen says, you know, I'm sorry for what I said, but I'm not sorry for the way that I said it. I was like, well, damn. Well, damn. Okay. But then they said, well, you, you left her. You shouldn't have left. She says, I did leave, and I shouldn't have left, Andy. I'm sorry. Then she said, but don't you owe me an apology? And Karen 
and you know, not Karen, but Sabrina and Dana are like, I'm confusion right now. What does she owe you an apology for? So Karen says, well, I got this subpoena today and it's from Gary's wife. You know, she is, she's suing us for something. I forgot what she said she's suing him for. And then she says, you know, um, we're being named as character. We're, we're being named as, you know, um, accomplices to this. And then she says to add to it, you know, um, Jasmine is in jail for shooting Gary and for, um, she says she's in jail for shooting Gary and holding Andy at gunpoint. And I'm like, wait a minute, you, you didn't tell us that. Child, Sabrina is the dumbest person. Sabrina is the second dumbest next to Andy. Sabrina asked the dumbass question, is Gary okay? Girl, you just saw him when they were about to get married. Unless that was a body double or a stunt double, Gary is fine. Child, Sabrina's just dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. So then as they're talking, Rob shows up and that's when Andy gets up and goes away to talk to Rob. So then let's move over to Fatima. So Fatima, she gets a knock at her door and it is Hayden there with his thirsty ass. So he says, I'm really surprised that you, you don't want to you know, see me. She's like, why? He says, I thought you'd be mad about old boy. She says, oh no, not at all. Then she says, do you want a drink? He says, yeah. She says, make yourself comfortable. So Hayden is making himself comfortable and she's on her phone texting Zach. So then, you know, Zach knocks at the door. She lets Zach in. So then, you know, it's um, Hayden, Fatima, and Zach. So Fatima basically played hardball with Hayden. Like, you know, Hayden, I know where the bodies are buried. I know that you mess with the camera footage. I know everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a way to get him back at the top of the list or I'm going to take you down. And he's like, so you really feeling this dude? Yes, she is. And she's not feeling you and she ain't your property. So, you know, and she goes off on Zach, like, you know, about Zach thinking that she was the type of chick that would, you know, do something like that to him, get him taken off of it. So she tells both of them, get the fuck out of her house. And Zach and, you know, Hayden had a little bit of a conversation, but Hayden left. Hayden's like, she's talking to you. He's like, no, she's talking to you. I'm like, she's talking to both of y'all asses. Get the fuck out. Hayden leaves, but Zach doesn't. Zach plops his ass back on the couch. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, let's move on. All right, you guys, so I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up real quick. I don't know what I said real quick. We're going to wrap the episode up. So Andy, so Andy and Rob, they're having a conversation about their clients, right? I don't know what the deal was that they made or potentially made. You know, Rob was like, he can't take that back to his client because he'll lose his client, right? So then, you know, he's like, Andy, you know your, your um, client is an asshole or something like that. And I'm like, what the hell does that got to do with the price of tea in China? Like, I was confused. Really, really was conf confused, right? So then at a certain point, Rob suggested that, you know, they take, you know, they take this back to his hotel room because, you know, she changed, you guys remember, Andy changed the plans. He had set up for them to go to one restaurant but remember, she had Fatima call him and set up there. So she's like, no, you know, we can sit here and we can finish, you know, the drink. She said, I'm just, I'm a, she wanted to down the wine. He's like, no, just drink it. So then they have the weirdest conversation, right? I think he told her she had a beautiful smile and she told him he had one too. It was just, I'm like, okay, y'all are flirting with each other, but it's an uncomfortable flirting with each other, right? So, you know, she keeps showing him this ring that Gary gave her. He said one thing that I did agree with. You're not married yet, so you're still technically still available-ish. When it comes to Gary, girl, you should literally just run. I just don't get what Andy sees in Gary. Gary gives, I mean, he's insecure. He's jealous. He's controlling. He's possessive. Oh, He's Ike Turner. Like, he is jealous, insecure, controlling, and possessive. Why does she think that's cute? What does she get? 
I mean, didn't the man almost, didn't the man literally almost squeeze the life out of you? Andy is a glutton. Actually, you know what? Andy is a glutton for punishment. Andy is a glutton for punishment, and I'm going to let Andy have that glutton. She's a glutton for punishment, and I'm just going to let her have it, right? So moving over to Fatima. So Fatima is getting ready to go out. I don't know where she was going, but Zach is there. She's like, why the fuck are you still here? And Zach is there because he wants to apologize to her for not trusting her, which I give him that you were wrong. And then <laughs> Zach told her to take, he told her to take off that dress. Baby, if I was Fatima, I would be like, you ain't said nothing but a word. This dress is gone. What dress? Did you see a dress on me? Nah, you ain't saw no dress. We would be having, we would be getting it in. But you know, Fatima got to, you know, play a little hardball with him. But if it was me, if I was Fatima, that dress would have failed. That dress would have been non existent. That dress would have been non existent when he said, I mean, it was just, it was just the tone he used. Take off that dress. I was like, ooh, you gonna take off the dress? <laughs> like, I was like, you gonna take off that dress, ain't you? Girl, you better, you better, you better drop that dress so she she you know she pushes him on a couch and they get it in i'm like yes you better get it so then moving back over to the restaurant where the girls are at you know andy is still with rob so karen sabrina and um and um danny they're at the table I'm like didn't she ask us out to dinner but yet it says she's over there with him meanwhile Sabrina is looking at Rob and like, oh, he's cute. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. And that's when Rob was telling, you know, Andy how good she looks. And he told, she told him how good he looks. And then the cat, the grand finale. Who popped up? You got it right. That damn Gary. I was like, really? Andy, you are stupid. You told Gary where you were going. Why did you tell him where you were going? Like you really should have, you should have went there. You you should have still went there, but you should have been there with the girls. So that way, if he came and he saw the girls, he'd be like, "Oh, okay, you are with the girls." And nothing, girl, run for the run for your life, run, run. But that's it, you guys. Be sure to like the video, leave your comments in the comment section below, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else, and share the video. And until the next one, you guys, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask or not. Whichever one you guys do decide to do. Just be safe. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, you guys. So I'm off of here to do BT Presents the Encore.